Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. I had someone come to me just today and ask me, Dr. Gary, I am curious, what do you think is going on out there? I can't believe people are still just standing around tolerating everything that's going on in the world and especially in this country. You know what, I got to thinking about it and I remember the tune-up I gave the other day. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. And that's really kind of what that was about. I got more feedback from that particular tune-up than anything I've done so far in the last two years. I want you to think about this. In this country right now, even if they've downgraded our economy, America is still the greatest country and nation in the world. We're the strongest. We have the most potential. Our people are real people that actually know what opportunity is and know how to exercise those opportunities. Each one of us are being manipulated in ways that we're totally unaware of, whether it's from media, television, our cell phones, whether it's the newspapers, whether it's our neighbors and rumors, gossip, whatever's going around, it's always they said. It's time to start asking who is they? Who's running things? What's really going on? And the real problem with what's going on right now, forgive me if it sounds like I'm editorializing, however, this is what I'm listening to every day, and there is an answer. In this country right now, we're not going to have it back the way it was. We really don't want it back the way it was because the way it was wasn't working. Government was running too much. There was opportunities and people were getting greedy. A lot of people right now are waiting around for jobs to come back. I don't think the jobs are going to come back. That's not just me saying that. We have a new paradigm in this country now and it's time for us to get off our butts and start doing something. Today what I want you to think about is your own personal potential. This particular individual I talked to today was pretty amazing. They had been a CEO of a major company. These people had huge employees. They worked, 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 created products, and now they're gone. What's the reason for that? It's the way things are being run. What I told this person is, he still has it in him. He's got that entrepreneurial spirit. And that's one of the things this country is famous for. When they came across the pond and created America, there weren't jobs here. These jobs and everything in this country was made by people like you and me getting down, getting dirty, and making things happen and creating our own opportunities. Today, I want you to think about what you're doing to create opportunities in your life. You know, each one of us are waiting around for someone to save us. It's not going to happen. We're going to have to save ourselves, and it starts with you and your family right now. There's more people on food stamps in this country right now than ever before, and it's not necessary. We've got to quit waiting for government to save us. We've got to quit waiting for the neighbors to save us. We've got to quit waiting for mom and dad to save us, and we've got to save ourselves. And the way we do that today, I want you to think about what you can do and find a niche that you're good at and start serving other people. The greatest thing we can do in our life to create is to serve another human being in a very positive way. If you'll start looking at things as though you're a pioneer and you're going to redevelop this country into something great again, go to work and start finding your own niche and start finding your own way through it without waiting for someone to save you. We got to save ourselves. We got to get mad about this. Not the kind of mad that we're going to go beat up our neighbors, the kind of mad we're going to put arm in arm with our neighbors and march towards success in America again. This is a great place to be. Of all the countries in the world, if you went to any of the other ones and you come back to this one, this one's still the best. I want you to get behind it today. I want you to get behind you, your neighbors, your friends, and start realizing this country is not going to be what it was. We're going to make it better. We're going to make it greater. And it starts with you and I today. And it starts with opportunity and the way we think. Now change the way you think about things and the things that you think about will start changing and focus on what you want. And that's for you, your family, to do well. Until next week, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary opportunity-filled weekend. Bye-bye.